of draft, a lot of magic damage on one side. From push and uh, the Chaos Knight. He's been in the pool for a couple of times, but I believe that's the first time we've seen him in SEA here. Well, in this game, it was like a choice between Sven or CK, right? <laughs> if they wanted a, a safe lane carry, both of them offer stuns, but CK offers that displacement tool, you know, against the Queen of Pain, against the Razor and the Puck, the ability to kind of continue chasing, whereas Sven needs to buy a Blink. His Warcry doesn't get too much value in this game up against all the magic damage, so CK was pretty much the only real choice they had. But look at this smoke from them. Running right into Kuroko. He did the A-click, but he's gonna get stunned down. First blood is easy as that. And LT and C, that's a choice. Where do we want to go next? Do we just want to contest top rune and get those two? Or want to try and split up a little bit? Uh, set up for bottom as well. Looks like the They want to kill more. more. Yeah. <laughs> it also works. <laughs> I mean, you have all the stunts in the world. And it's also something that we've been talking about uh, time and time again in Captain's Draft. Counter stunts on Happy Feet. You won't find too many. Nope, there's like Dream Coil. Uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> that's kind of it. Oh, four heroes still trying to uh, bully TNC out of this particular day. Nice little value blast on level one, so not doing too much. Now, extra stun on the Trim Protector. They're really gonna go for this here. Follow up stun, double split off, another right click, and another blast will secure a secondary kill. Tim's will fall to the Arcane Orb. Chasing him down, but Raven, Cuckoo, T Font for 3 7, they're still fighting, they're still killing. Jules gets himself. No, oh, Cuckoo stays alive to the verifier. And, uh, oh, never mind, he gets intercepted as Jesse Bash comes back. Very low death timers indeed. And another Jules stun, so <laughs> another much. death. Gonna get another double kill after all. Both the last arcane orb. All right, so <laughs> okay, boys, the creeps have spawned mid. Come on, come on, let's uh, let's go back to lanes. I mean, <laughs> overall, that's a happy feat. Like the, the, the second part of the fight is a happy feat win. Obviously, the Queen of Pain first blood makes it an overall win for TNC, but it would have been so much better if they had just killed the Queen of Pain and then gone back yeah. to lanes and not not contested that rune. You just you just look at oh the uh, what eyes, though oh ventral spirit and the snipe from Tim's. Tim's god, he keeps doing this on whatever hero he plays. First we saw it was on Bouncy Hunter and it's it's kind of expected. Then he also did it on Treen, or tried to. I don't know, he did it once. Uh, the other day. Now on Ventral Spirit, because why not? So what are these lanes? Puck has been sent bot to 1v1 the Tide, so they don't have the Razor versus Tide lane, interestingly enough. Rappi's up top with the Treant, so they're in, they have the lane I expected, just not in the place I expected. They're up against the CK Leshrac, yeah, works just which as well, doesn't right? seem with amazing. The, the I mean, look at Draven, he's actually being bullied out quite hard, but there's two more heroes there, the, with the stuns and the right clicks. Not exactly but if what they expected to happen there. But Happy Feet, they... Uh, bottom, bottom lane Samich might die here. Uh, the orb doesn't connect, so he's fine. No, but... So, if you're running, like, kind of hard dual lanes, the Scarath Mage isn't as good in a tri-lane as, like, a Vengeful Spirit coming in with a stun to set up for a Lesh, right? So, Happy Feet... Oh, God. one four three seven. I'm gonna go with a big old punch of this from Jesse Bash. One more. Not quite enough to stun now to the Razor. And now, again, turn on play, bit of a minus armor stacked up, a couple of right clicks from Tim's and Raven, and uh, there it is! See, Actually have there. quite some fighting power themselves, the Raven oh. cannot man fight Jesse Bash right now, but he did not self help! More right clicks, one punch is not enough for the stick charges. What is happening? Seven and three, right. not even so three minutes in. Right, right, right there is what I was uh, like about yeah. to explain before they started slaying people. So TNC have this kind of two and a half lane. The Venge can roam between top and mid, but Happy Feet have this, you know, two one two, and it's a pretty hard two one two. Jules is like roaming into mid occasionally to help out this Ben Hur Queen of Pain, but he doesn't belong in that top lane. Whereas the Vengeful Spirit can quite easily come in and set up kills. And oh jeez, look like. Oh. T Tim Tim's is just all over the place. Vengeful Spirit, this roaming Venge is just so much better in this game. But yeah, like if you have your two on two like this, the Treant and the Razor, they need to be in a in a two v two. As soon as that third hero comes in, they're screwed. They're absolutely screwed. Yeah. So they either need to bring Jules in to help with TP scrolls or just rotations, or they need to just swap their lanes. Like honestly, well, you could probably easily just send the puck top instead. 
You're definitely gonna have an easier time farming on a razor. You can even maybe perhaps bully out that tight hunter. But uh, Tim, see, he's showing up on the bottom now. He's uh, throwing out the stun, but Yash can still get the orb jaunt away. Like, this is arcane boots on Tim's already. <laughs> like, he's had it for a good minute and a half or something. He's a cool little fight with us, so yeah. <laughs> and he's basically winning them every single lane right now, it feels like. Oh, does he get a double bounty rune? And a regen rune? I want to try and turn around and The game is rewarding first. Tim's. Uh, keeps bullying him out. Ah, oh, the Queen of Pain gets the regen. Would have been nice if Tim's, you know, threw a stun there, got the regen rune. Raven actually alone this time around, up against three heroes. Fuels can uh, also make an rotation to help. And uh, Raven though is pretty damn tanky with the stick. Keeping himself alive and... Okay, this is just telling, isn't it? That, that, like, yeah, exactly. Working away I mean, at one but, but, Like, by now, it's a little bit too late. They bring the, they bring the third hero up here. They bring the Scarath Mage, but they're 3v1 and still can't kill Raven because they don't have the control they need. He just walks away. They've got damage. They've got lots of damage, but uh, without a stun to help the Razor drain, all of that damage from Static Link just isn't enough. Oh. At least they're gonna force him all the way back in a tier one tower. Only that was his last tango has one shared from one four three seven. Best Vash looking to do. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching one four three seven dancing right now. Gonna go on him, okay. Don't quite get leech it off until just now. And they're gonna dive under the tower for that kill. Alright, so far so good. TP will be cancelled from Cuckoo. I want to go in on that alone. And the Venge. They both faked out the TP. Now they're gonna they're go mid instead. Mid, yeah, oh, the blast connects, but not quite enough damage on Quab. Uh, no ulti on Cuckoo yet. Still level 5. Only 5.5 five minutes in. If, like, this feels like a 10 minute game already with the amount of action we've had. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at this. Two points up in the Edict. They have a blast. Not working away at this tower here once I get rid of the creeps. 1 for 3 7. Uh, follow up stun, Kuroko. Doesn't actually have a. Oh, he doesn't blink now, okay. Almost out of mana, but he also had stick charges. This is TNC playing turbo mode and happy feet trying <laughs> to keep up. I mean, that's how insane it's been so far. Pretty much. So CK is struggling on farm just a touch, but he'll be fine uh, as soon as the movement rotates mid. They're gonna finish the tower, they get the silence to off onto the cuckoo, so he will fall to that and the right clicks. Four man rotation here into this lane though to make that happen. One foot three seven. Gonna have to dodge and uh, duck and dive a little bit. Doesn't have a TP scroll, so all it can really do is we'll just try and wait it out around here. Radiant With that vision, Jules. Still hunting, he's still looking. And uh almost found him. <laughs> well they scanned, so they know that he was around here and they probably know he has no TP. So yeah. they're trying to cut off all of the angles of escape. Jules will find him eventually. For, come on, for so sure. Are they giving up? Maybe they don't quite know about this particular spot. Just Vash might find it. Oh, come on. Come on. There it is, the courier finds him. Alright, that works. <laughs> TP is in to the tier 2. Jules will get the kill. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that was pretty nice. They knew, like, they knew he had no TP, so they knew he was still somewhere in their jungle. Yep. It was just a matter of finding him. But yeah, CK was given a bit of spare time, and he goes from like 16 last hits up to close to 30. Raven just showing, you know, you leave my lane alone, I am gonna farm like a madman. I will get every CS that you leave me. So like that, he's going for armlet here. It's, it's gonna allow him to keep fighting with. Oh, his Ravage team. bot. Oh, it is Yash. Oh, ah, so so low, but not low enough. They're keeping him alive now. Sam H. Whoa! Nice dodge down the anchor smash. Yeah, he's winning that particular mind game. Yeah, Never but Puck has the shorter stuff. cooldowns. That's a big Ravage cooldown used. Oh, yeah. There's no real gain. The stun perfectly timed on the Queen of Pain has to come in. Burst down to half health. Goroko also blink out already. Rapid Jesse Vash on front line. See, <laughs> Raven gets a drag back. Only the one extra illusion. And don't actually get the kill with it, but they do get the tower and still continue to fight. Yash not in fighting shape right now, no shrine either to make that happen. Tim's looking for another stun, can't really use it on the puck. Only be dodged, but look at this. All these low heroes on the side for happy feet. 
This one area that gets a stun onto, onto Tree and Protector. Nice little ult there though from Kuroko. Equalizing the health situation and now Rappi looking to try and turn things around but so is Raven. Two for one trade overall. And uh, they're looking for more. Bit of a silence of Raven trying to burst him down. Now the stun on Quav just to try and keep Ben Hurt away. But he'll still be able to catch up with the blink. The extra orb from Jules. That was Actually, such a good made a fight happen. Yeah, it's amazing. Kuroko just with a sonic wave on three heroes. I mean, all, all three of them on like 200 HP. You kind of expect them to maybe retreat, TP back, or uh, you know, walk back to base and TP back in to continue that fight. But the, the fact that <laughs> okay, ah! well, that was quick. Wait, did did he pee in a bottle or something? Like, what's happening? Oh, I mean, maybe someone who was dead. Like, maybe the the okay. razor died, right? Yeah, yeah I, th I think oh, the yeah, razor maybe. while he was dead went to pee very quickly. I think I think that's the case. It, it seems like anyway. But yeah, without bait set up, you kind of expect people to you know leave and then come back when they're full HP. But they stuck around, knew that they had this moment they could strike over back on TNC, who felt very strong. But just imagine they had the tide ravage there, right? Just imagine if oh, yeah. Sam H was able to rotate into that lane and come and help them out. The four man squad of TNC looks good, but we're still waiting to see the Sam H tide come up online. Now we're going to use the uh, the glyph aggressively and defensively at the same time. Just to help keep the creeps alive. Yash gets the silence off. Just the middle of that as well. Does not have the overgrowth. And uh, Pack not quite mobile enough just yet. To keep himself alive against all these heroes. And uh, yeah, the, just going to keep The trouble going. is... Like, the trouble is, you look at the net worth board, right? It's, te it's ten minutes in. Razor, Quop, Puck. Middle of the pack, yeah. just ahead of the Vengeful Spirit, but then you have... Oh, that's a nice little... How, how did this happen? Uh, I believe... Green Protector is sniping it on yeah, the way true. down to the bottom lane. Raven is looking for Rappi, but he's pretty fast on his feet right now. More TP's in, Jesse Vash will reveal himself. They have Ravage. He's sucked off a little bit, Sam H, yeah, ready to turn things around whenever he wants to. Now the ultimate from Raven. Oh, still holding on to the right, which is being silenced up now, but they don't even need it to finish up the Razor after all. Meanwhile, in the back, they do track down uh, the Lushrak. Well, back here into the tra into the Reality Rift Interrupt. So yeah, you, you see the difference in how Happy Feet have to fight. With Ravage up, the split there was really good from Happy Feet, right? Two yeah. heroes chase the Lushrak, they find that pick, they get the kill, but then the rest of them, three of them... They're in this position where they can't clump together, they have to split, you know, every different way just to get away from Sam H, who's holding this Ravage, standing in the middle of three of them, just waiting for them to collapse. Well used, Yash. Well, they really want to hold on to this tower. Raven gets busted down to quite a decent amount. Jesse Vash in the middle of that gets turned around on with Reality Rift, a couple of right clicks. He was all alone there, and the rest of his team not ready to help him out, and the tower still ends up falling to another. And the blast from Kuku. And they're gonna have like a four man shrine. That feels so good. But yeah, overall, great success again for TNC. This pushing power really paying off right now. They haven't lost a single of their towers, but they've claimed four already on the Radiant side. 10 to 13. Over a kill a minute. Southeast <laughs> Asian Dota. So yeah, Queen of Pain and Razor, they need to find some way to you know, get into these items. But the trouble is, neither of them neither of them want to farm. These are snowball heroes in you know, the rawest sense. They want to fight, they want to kill heroes, and that's how they gain their advantage. Is basically by you know running at people and outplaying them. They do have farming mechanisms, you know, through Plasma Field and through Scream, but it's it's slow, long, arduous work, really. You, you want to be shoving out lanes with these heroes and just trying to make action happen. But you're still running into this Tide Ravage, because he held it from last fight. We're running into Pac-Man and burst him down with the Mystic Flare, but now, well, yeah, as you said, Sam H does have that threat, but up against five heroes with one hero already down with their big damage dealers. Gonna have to think twice, but... Being forced to use a soon race, they actually had I tip it all the way back to base, that's not gonna happen. The rest of TNC struggling to stay alive. They do turn things around on Rappi at the very least, with Raven showing his face, but... Uh, Happy Feet gets that's much quite better. a lot out of that, yeah. Yeah, that's much, much better. I mean, that 
it's something they have to do. Like I was just saying, they, they can't just sit back and farm. They can't wait for TNC to come to them. Because if TNC come to them, they'll set up around a tower or an objective. And they'll have Tide in a place where he'll get a good Ravage. So they managed to you know, fight TNC when they're still a little bit scattered. They saw you know one show elsewhere on the map. They know with their vision, you know, they've got one Observer that's kind of watching around the Roche Pit. One that's watching towards mid lane. They've got you know four Observer Wards along this line creating vision <laughs> for happy feet all the way from like mid lane down towards bottom lane so they knew exactly where tnc were it was the right moment to strike and they they fully exploit tnc's weakness there but the, the thing is tnc like they just do this again they group up as five they move towards a tier two this time the fight is going to be on their terms sure the treant can scout them in the back but you still have to fight into ravage yep. the mage also going for a mechanism now already has the hood of defiance so between that and the kraken shell he's Almost unkillable either, and even if you silence him up, if you do if you do damage to him, he's just gonna purge it. So we have to be extremely careful in uh, the way how we deal with him in these fights. And uh, yeah, as you can see their information. They have uh, the Nether Ward. They have uh, the armor completed on the Chaos Knight. <laughs> Going into the Halberd next. So it's have you seen what Jesse Vash has just done? Uh, not quite. So he's just running around placing sentries. He places a sentry, he, you know, quelling blades down, or ta he tango, not oh, yeah. quelling blade, he tango down enemy sentry. Then another uh, another sentry comes from TNC, he comes along and he dewards that, and just like four or five sentries get dewarded. <laughs> but he also, yeah, he also spotted out this observer ward sentry combo down here, which Jesse Vash will eventually deward, give yeah. some money over to Rappy, which is very, very handy. Okay, finds a stack up top. Do not feel comfortable fighting this one, eh? Have a bit of a creep wave there, so they'll be able to burst down the tower immediately. Top tower has and uh, they're kind of moving as five, which does mean that the net worth situation is kind of stabilized for the time being. But as I say, that they're already starting to split up again and, and pushing out these other lanes, continuing to farm up. Split up and farm. Yep. Space like, for uh, that again on the chat wheel after all the voice commands are gone. Oh, yeah. Puck isn't too far from Blink. It's just not the Blink timing we expect from like a solo lane Puck, right? It's 15 yeah. minutes in, you kind of expect it to be here. But Raven alone bot lane has been scouted, and with what, two heroes that have shown top, this maybe is a go. Jesse Vash scouts everything in the back. They know that the CK's alone, and as soon as Ven shows mid, they'll have the perfect opportunity to strike. Have to go now though, Raven already on the retreat, Jesse Vash ready to interrupt it though with the overgrowth, does force out the ultimate, only gets a one extra illusion, follow up control, Yash yeah, actually almost it. dies to the right click here, but bit like Queen of Pain ends up falling, alright, Raven's still Raven's fighting, he's off. actually doing this, he does have the armored, does get the one kill, and everyone else forced to turn around, so I guess he's uh, getting a double kill, 3v1 so XD. Rare. Raven wins 1v3. Uh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, mid lane, what happened was they set up really perfectly a swap into Split Earth. So Queen of Pain okay. got swapped back. 1437 had channeled the stun. They land it really nicely, just you know, chain stun through the Queen of Pain. Down she goes. And this was all happening while you were watching CK just demolish three heroes <laughs> who tried to gank him. Should be discussing like Pack is coming in, delivering his burst, but Raven only had the ultimate off, just two or three right clicks, Puck was down to like a third of his health points. Yeah. And uh, this is a Puck who needed that kill to get a blink as well. That that was what that kill was meant to gain them. Yeah. Oh. Gonna get that before all the out of tier towers are down because it's already happened. Roko. Stand up. Might find him still here who's alone himself down in the bottom. And uh, a couple right clicks with the Kaya also amplifying his things, but takes a little bit too long. One, four, three, seven. Made the rotation ready to help out his friend. TNC just very crisp gameplay right now. Perhaps uh, apart from that one slight overextension here, we're happy feet. We're able to get a couple of kills on mid. Is Roshan gonna factor into TNC's plans anytime soon, or do they f don't feel like they need it? Uh, right now, they just want to use Ravage in a team fight. I think. 
We've seen, what, one Ravage against the Puck bot? Yep. And apart from that, it's just been Samage waddling into a team fight and saying, Hey, I have Ravage! Try <laughs> and fight into me! But it's just not happening. I'm, I'm just looking through talents, because I just want to try and make sure there's nothing that... Uh, you know, nothing cool that we've missed out on that's been added in. I don't think there is. I mean, we've, we've talked about the tree in one already a bunch of times with the, the tree respawning, but I don't think it has much effect this game. I think everyone else is pretty standard. Just a few little changes here and there. Yep. Actually, plus 25% anchor smash damage reduction is pretty insane. Oh, yeah. Because that pushes it up to 85. That's which crazy. is a lot. Yeah, that is. For what? Four seconds? Six seconds. I mean, m maybe not in this game, because no one's right-clicking in this game. It's all <laughs> magic damage. <laughs> all right. But a uh, mechanism all on, uh, online as well on the Tide Hunter. They've also seen a medallion on the Shrax. So if they want to go for Roche, that's going to help as well. And looks like they want to perhaps drop for Smoke. for 3 7 holding on to one, going into the Atos next as well. I'm trying they to have mech something. pipe, that is... mech pipe, glimmer cape, medallion, they could go Roche, they could find a pick and go and take, uh, I guess go and take Roshan right there, they have to at this point, there are no more tier 2s remaining. Yeah. They've got Veil Atos over on your Pugna, they've literally got every item that they would ever <laughs> want 20 minutes in the game to go and make a fight happen. Dash up on the high ground, they have the exact same idea, TNC is probably setting up for Roche, but can they really turn, uh, do something against this. Another sentry will scout out to Jesse Rash. Bit of a free beat, so happy feet. Instead, they're gonna try and uh, get a few towers here. They only got already got top. Now they're looking to also get bottom, but I don't believe TNC cared too much about that at this point. Nah, it's a bot tier one. Queen of Pain is forced to use the DD. They could never come back and contest, and now Cuckoo has the Aegis. So pushing high ground here could be pretty easy for TNC if they get a nice phantasm off. Level two, so at least get two illusions. Perhaps the third one. I don't believe he's been lucky yet this game. Couple ults that we've seen, but uh, Yash actually doing nice things, keeping Creepwave mid. It's gonna force them back eventually, but they do have Siege Creep. It's very hard to actually burst down and make sure the backdoor region kicks back in. So Raven, yeah, he does get that extra illusion this time. Towers dropping low and lower. Kuroko. <laughs> okay. He popped the BKB, it didn't matter. Plenty of physical damage on a swap into a split earth. On to Razor. Next one on list. See eventually here. Overgrowth gives a little bit of space, but not enough. Two big cores already down and that just be it honestly. There's no glyph, there's no anything, there's still the catapult thing. Okay, yeah, that was that was a hero there. Not anymore. DNC, they can go for Megas. I believe the game is over. Uh, yeah. I think that's a fair assessment. We have all the push in the world to make that happen. Good holding on to the Nether Blast so we can get max value out of it. Uh, on the two Rex, there it is. I just want to see Sam H use Ravage. <laughs> Come on, my dude. I just walk just it. walk into their fountain and use it. Well, TNC actually Honestly, gonna back off here. Are, are they? Like do they go top and push the wave all the way into tier three? I mean I wouldn't, but maybe. Oh there it is, that's a perfect rabbit opportunity. That is Sam H catches absolutely everybody. And uh they're all gonna die or run away, one or the other. Maybe both. Rappy. All the minus armor gets dragged back. Kuroko with the Sonic Wave doesn't really do anything against the mechanism. BG is called as he blinks away. Alright. Yeah, first big team fight Ravager of the game. XD. <laughs> <laughs> not, not entirely necessary, uh, no. but flashy nonetheless. We, we